is up guys and welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in if you are new to the channel so today i want to thank rainpoint for sending me their smart wi-fi uh, two zone timer and smart hub because without them i couldn't make today's video possible so without further ado let's go take a look at uh, what they have sent all right so as you can see we have the box this is Rainpoint's two-zone Wi-Fi water timer with smart display hub. So I haven't even looked in the box yet, so I uh, don't know how it's packaged. So we're going to take a look. So in the box, you have some documents, user manuals for both the timer and the hub. Quick start guide. Here we have the hub, and it does come with a stand, and we'll have to put the batteries in. And then here is the two zone smart timer. To be honest with you, seeing this online this is a lot bigger than what i was expecting but you know uh buttons to manually turn on each zone from the timer itself these things are massive so that's what that looks like some uh teflon tape and then i'm gonna zoom in here we probably have this is the power cord for the uh, hub. So the neat thing about this, about having a dual zone timer, is that in this case, you see that I've got this hose hooked up to my irrigation in the back. Uh, if for some reason you had another zone, like, you know, another garden, uh, or other irrigation heads somewhere in your yard, you could hook them up to the second zone. In my case, for now, what I'll be doing is I'll be using the second zone uh, actually um, to water the chickens when the chickens need water. Uh, so the neat thing is, is this can stay hooked up all the time just like this. I don't have to have a splitter on there. And then when it comes time, let's turn the water on real quick. So when it comes time and say, I want to water the chickens, well, we just come over here, we hit this button, and there we got water. Hit the button again, and it turns off. So the same thing will, will happen when, uh, we hook, when we turn on the, uh, the other zone. Okay guys, so here we're opening up the HomeGuard app that you need to download. So we'll go through the setup process real quick. And it'll ask you to uh, register account when using the app for the first time. Okay guys, so once you get registered, you'll get to the home management. I'm just gonna leave this called my home. I am in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. So let's confirm that. You're going to uh, cancel this uh, setup location information for your home for now. Let's go ahead and add a device. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the display hub going. Over again, we're gonna hit the Wi-Fi button on the top of the hub again and hold it until it comes up and says scan. Then here we'll hit all steps completed, hit next. It should find it. Okay, so we're going to add, save, okay, so now we're in, and as you can see, uh, the, the, another neat thing about this hub too, is that uh, it does um, give you information about what the timer is doing without even having to get on the app of your phone. So it does show some weather conditions, indoor and outdoor stuff um so that's that's pretty neat uh 
you know, I, I kind of like that. So anyways, here on the app, add a device, and now we can add the, the timer. So ready for pairing. So let's just go ahead and see what hitting the left button actually does. Okay, so device added successfully. So while we're here real quick, let's take a look through this. Um, there's a couple different uh, settings. I'll go over those here in a minute. Let's uh, set up a... So you can do a rain delay. Let's, uh, let's add a... Um, let's add a schedule real quick. We are actually at 12 here. And then we are going to go... So then you can select a, how long or uh, the duration. So let's, uh, duration we're going to say five minutes. And then repeat every day. So there's the schedule. So it'll come on for 10 seconds. Turn off for 10 seconds. And then it'll come back on. And it'll keep doing that for however long you have it set for. So I have changed it to one minute. So the good thing about the mist mode is that it'll prevent you from causing uh, runoff when you're trying to water, especially in a, in a situation like this where, you know, there's quite a bit of a hill. So that's gonna keep going. And as you can see, maybe on the screen, it is counting down again. And then another neat thing. You have stats on the app that tells you how much water you've used. It says on the hub as well how much water you've used. So I've used 2.7 liters. So for any of you guys looking to uh, purchase one of these uh, and you like what you see in the video, please uh, check out the links, the link below. Uh, there should be a 15% discount, I believe it is, uh, for you guys. So go get yourself one of these. Save yourself some money. Uh, biggest thing that I think I like about a system like this is... The fact that you can set it, you can go off, do what you need to. You have multiple zones, so you can set up different schedules for both zones to do different things. You know, like you have irrigation heads in your backyard, uh, drip irrigation in your flower beds. You want different watering schedules and things like that. So, um, you know, again, if you like what you saw in the video, please check out the link below. Save yourself some money with that 15% code. And uh, I guess we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Please smash the thumbs up button below. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, please subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.